Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to Big Lots. I haven't been there in a while and they usually have really good stuff this time of year. Um, and I wanna check out the skincare because I wanna see if they have um, any of the Freeman masks, which I know Five Below often does. Um, because I found a really good one at Dollar Tree and I want to see, you know, I think Something in me tells me that Freeman has been watching the Dollar Tree videos because some of the things I've suggested I think have come to fruition from Freeman. Uh, so oftentimes Big Lots carries some Freeman gems and uh, So I just wanted to go in there and check it out, but I'm wearing that NYX eyeshadow that I got I showed you guys I ordered it from Amazon. I ordered it because the shades are kind of similar to what's in the NARS palette that I've been using for a while and I really like, but the NARS palette, A is really expensive and B appears to be discontinued. See, that's one thing about skincare. They don't discontinue stuff as quickly, I feel like with makeup. Um, these brands, makeup brands, they pump out these different palettes and it's like here today, gone tomorrow. And that was the case with this one. But I like the NARS because it doesn't fall out and flake all over the place. But this NYX one, it's okay. It's not as good. But for the price, it's not too bad. And by not as good, I mean the color is not, like you have to, you have to go in a couple of times to really get the color to pop. And there is, some of the shades fall out quite a bit. And the non-purple shades, there are some purples in there and, and then some non, so. Oh gosh, y'all, Sprouts is completely gone. It's so sad over there. Sprouts, if you're new here, was, is a favorite grocer of mine. And there was one um, over there that I loved to go to, so well stocked. The employees were so friendly, so helpful. The customers were friendly and helpful. Do you ever go with certain retailers and the people who shop there are annoying and rude? You know, when people are rude to other people, it's, it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut, you know, like to stay out of it when I see people being rude to employees because it's like, you know they just work here, right? Like they don't make the rules and they're going out of their way to help you as part of their job, but like you don't need to treat them like that. I mean, yeah, it's, ugh, people in retail, I'm telling you, they, they, don't, they don't get treated well at all. I mean, it's part of the reason why when you go in stores, I mean, why would anybody wanna work in retail? They're underpaid, underappreciated, and they're getting let go left and right. Ooh, sorry to cut off on more serious talk. But Big Lots is having a 20% off friends and family. Friends, you're welcome. Let's head on in there. I'm excited because y'all know I love a bargain. And a friends and family sale at Big Lots, like I'm, I'm, I'm stocking up like, like we're going into, into lockdown again. Ooh, that's a bad thought. You can get a lot of good stuff at Big Lots, but the thing about Big Lots is, it, you know, you can't let a couple of bad experiences with Big Lots taint the picture for you because it's very, you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get in there and you're like, dang, I have struck gold. Whereas other times you get in there and you're like, there's nothing in here. All right, we have some sunscreens over here. We've got the Banana Boat SPF 50 Plus Kids Sport. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's pretty casty. Now, this product I adore. It does have fragrance, but talk about a SPF that is fast absorbing. I mean, this is like pleasant to put on if you're super sweaty. The fragrance isn't too bad. It does, I don't think it burns around the eyes. I can't quite remember. The Kids Clear, I haven't seen this. Cool blue tint rubs in clear. Yeah, this one also has fragrance. $6.49. These are really good though, like for humid tropical environments. They're really good. Like the, the feel of them and everything is very nice. Banana Boat Baby Stick. The sticks are good for applying to your eyes because they don't run into the eyes as easily. You know, they're not gonna run like a, rubbing in a cream is more likely to get into your eyes. It's fine for babies to use chemical sunscreen. Over, you know, over the age of six months, kids can use the same sunscreen. Babies and kids can use the same sunscreen as adults. Babies, you know, their skin is a little bit more sensitive 
So they may find that things like fragrance is more irritating, but they can definitely use chemical sunscreen. It's not a you know, no go there. Here we have some sprays from the brand Sound Body. Sprays, you gotta be careful, they're prone to skip areas. This one has fragrance, but that's a pretty good price, $7.49. Check out all of the, oh, H2O to go. That looks like fun. <laughs> I need to get in the pool. I haven't I haven't gotten in the pool yet this summer. I've been too busy running my mouth per usual. Ooh. Jazzy footwear there. Look, two dollars for bleach. Yeah, if you are dealing with um, any kind of body fungus, ringworm, foot fungus, make sure you're bleaching your towels and things to and, and washing them with hot water. Same thing if you're dealing with impetigo. Because uh, you can transfer that to friends and family or to other body sites. I tried one of these Nivea cream body washes once and it was kind of similar to Dove body wash. Uh, honestly, like I couldn't really tell much of a difference other than the difference in the scent. But it was kind of the same Dove experience. Suavemente. We've got a juicy green apple body wash. I always liked Suave shampoo, but I believe it has M uh, methyl isothiazole in it, which I encourage avoidance. This does not have methyl isothiazole in it, and of course it has fragrance in it, but um, that's par for the course with most body washes. They do make fragrance-free body washes, but people who enjoy body washes are like, where's the fun in that? Speaking of Suave, I tried one of these recently, and I had a hard time rinsing it out of my hair in total. I've got this brand Epiel here, Hydrating Clay. This looks promising. Two-in-one skin moisturizing clay cleanser mask. Clay is good for oily skin types, uh, just to remove some ex extra oil from the skin surface help degrease this has glycolic acid in it which is good for unclogging the pore a bit and smoothing out the skin surface bentonites the clay as is kaolin sodium hyaluronate it's going to help uh, combat dryness this looks pretty good two dollars what's in the softening foot cream urea y'all know i love urea and foot creams uh, urea is great for softening callus and improving moisture content. Of course, this has tea tree leaf oil in it, which you can be allergic to. Less likely to cause problems like on the feet. May have antifungal benefit, but can, it can be allergic to it. And they also have a exfoliating one with the sugar in it. But honestly, just go with urea. Much more effective. Uh, we came in here looking for Freeman. Here's one, the anti-stress sea salt mud mask. I feel like they've had this before. It, Bentonite, yeah, this is a clay mask that can be helpful for um, oily skin types. Ooh, they have my favorite mascara, although that's no deal, $8. See, that's what I was telling you. You gotta be careful, like, not everything is a good deal, because I think, I think you can get this mascara from, oh, this is a waterproof version. I don't typically go for the waterproof, but I think you can get this mascara on Amazon for like $6.49 or something. I could, I could be wrong on that. The Falsies is another good one. I've tried that. Um, the falsies and the falsies lash lift and the lash i mean maybelline kills it when it comes to mascaras like lash sensational is good sky high is awesome i've heard good things about this eraser as a concealer Ooh, speaking of eyeshadow although i recently tried a maybelline eyeshadow and it was disappointing so then we have some elf elf makeup brushes i'm telling you they are good stuff like i've had I've had mine for a couple of years now, and I'm really on top of washing them all the time, and they have held up well. I also use those BK Beauty brushes. Those are really good, too. Lash curlers. Be careful of those if you're allergic to, you know, if you have a significant nickel allergy. Most people have some degree of nickel allergy, but nickel in the lash curlers can give you an eyelid dermatitis. These are a little bit too out there for me. Watch out for your beauty blenders. Those bad boys can harbor bacteria that aggravate your skin. Real techniques. I have, I have this. This I have this kit. Um, I don't use this. The brush I use the most is this one here in the center. They're okay. I don't like them as much as the L for the BK Beauty ones. Oh, Q-tip cotton swab. We were talking about this last weekend, right? Like, Q-tip is one of those brands that you just call it q-tip regardless of if it's the name brand or not you don't say cotton swab or maybe some people do i don't clotrimazole can be helpful for candida yeast if you get like um skin breakdown 
underneath the breasts or in the skin folds and it gets like red and painful and inflamed this can actually be helpful it's not actually that great for athlete's foot a better one is um terbenafine uh lamisil cream they don't have here Ooh, nuts imperial nuts deluxe nuts oh check this out skincare professional size moisturizing cream for the face neck and hands with a rose hip 4.79 but it's 20 percent off with the sale of course it has fragrance now rose hip oil it, it's an antioxidant it has antioxidants in it people like to claim that it's a natural form of retinol it has like 0 0.0000000001 percent retinol so you're not really getting anything with that in terms of retinol but it, it does have antioxidants they have a coconut one which um oh the coconut one has uh petrolatum they also have one with retinol in it are these all do they all have fragrance this one is fragrance free oh no they, that one has fragrance then they have one with hyaluronic acid Here's another Freeman mask. This one is the Cactus and Cloudberry. The store that has the biggest selection, in my experience, of Freeman stuff is um, Five Below. Glycerin, avocado oil. Seems okay. Of course, you know, if you're allergic to fragrance, that's a no-go for sure. I have this little two-pack here, $2.27. You get a gel cream mask and you get an anti-stress clay mask. Simple brand purifying clay mask is a good one too. And it, it does not, I don't think it has fragrance. Uh, this is a good one. It, it doesn't have fragrance. It has niacinamide, which is good for redness, oiliness, breakouts, hyperpigmentation, the moisture barrier. It has anti-aging benefit. This is a good product, $3.99. I'm so sad. I heard Derma Geek is going is is being discontinued. I really liked this brand. They had a lot of very good products, including this. This is a really good facial cleanser. You, speaking of facial cleanser, here's one from Aveeno with salicylic acid, two percent. That's good for acne. Of course, this has fragrance. Check out my video on salicylic acid face wash. I break it down there, like how to use it and other situations besides acne in which you may want to incorporate it. One day we're going to go in the gas station and you're going to be hit in the face with Olay. I mean, it is inescapable. What is this niacinamide plus peptide 24 daily facial cleanser? It has salicylic acid in it and that looks promising. The retinol 24 plus, I don't remember th ever seeing this. 10.99, that's a pretty good value. Whether or not the retinol ends up doing much, hard to say. I mean, with the coacervation, it can be deposited on the skin surface. Miliana. Hyaluronic acid nourishing night cream. This looks bougie, but it's only three bucks. Co hydrolyzed collagen is a good humectant, and it also, you know, plumps everything up and kind of helps things just um, smooth out. And my Revlon One Step Volumizer. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of this thing. I don't use it as often as I was using it for a while there when my hair was kind of medium length, um, but it's really good. It doesn't cause any breakage or anything for me oh check it out you guys this extreme extremely dry skin rescue from vaseline is divine it's got glycerin free of fragrance mineral oil skin protectant this is a, a good one uh, here we are with more free man hydrating cream mask shea butter it's very moisturizing is this one that you rinse off yeah. Sandalwood. Seems kind of like a waste, honestly. But they've got an EPL micellar cleansing water. I almost bought a cleansing water at a micellar cleansing water at Dollar Tree, and I was like, no, I'm not going down this rabbit hole again. Because y'all know me, I just don't I, I can't get the I can't get the micellar waters to work for me. So I was like, I'm not doing that again. Because I have enough micellar waters floating around that I don't know what to do with. These uh, pore nose pore strips, whether it be the Biore one or you know a knockoff brand, they um, can kind of help remove some oiliness within the pore, but it's not like a permanent change or anything. It's not like actually affecting long-standing change with in terms of blackheads. But um, the main issue with these is that as you peel them off, it can be kind of irritating to the skin. Not a good option for everybody, but some people really like them. Dead Sea Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream. Weren't we looking at this earlier? Somebody cracked into that. Scented. 
has turmeric in it, antioxidant, although the efficacy of turmeric is kind of questionable. What is this vitamin E cream? Now, taking a straight vitamin E capsule, breaking it open and putting it on your skin can end up being pretty irritating. There's actually different grades of vitamin E and different types of vitamin E. So stick with a skincare product that has vitamin E in it. Um, it can be beneficial for the skin, but it also can create a lot of havoc for you and people can be allergic to it. Oh, Noxema. Can you believe Noxema was originally formulated for people with eczema? It's, a, you know, it, it feels good going on eczema because it's got compounds in it that help soothe itch, but it's also kind of irritating. So, I don't know. A lot of people swear by it, like it works really well for them, but it wouldn't be my go-to recommendation. This is Baking Soda Pore Cleanser by EPL. The baking soda, I don't go put in baking soda on your skin, y'all. It's it's caustic. It's not good for the skin. Um, and a product like this is probably, you know, fine because they've got other things in there to adjust for all of the issues around baking soda just so they can market a baking soda cleanser because it's, you know, trendy. Or it was. Fortunately, I don't see people going off the rails on baking soda, this, that, and the other so much anymore. Oxy sensitive skin acne cleanser with prebiotics this is a benzoyl peroxide wash um this is one you could use as an underarm wash and it's only is it free of fragrance yeah it appears to be a fragrance free benzoyl peroxide wash so that's great lather it to the yeah fragrance free lather it to the underarm area leave it on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off it'll help cut down on body odor um, likewise, you could use it on the feet for foot odor. What's the rapid spot treatment? This is a 10% 10, 10 benzoyl peroxide prebiotics, which may help support the skin microbiome. Ultimately, that can help with irritation. This unfortunately has fragrance though. Um, go for the up and up uh, benzoyl peroxide. The thing about benzoyl peroxide is, yeah, it, it can be a very effective spot treatment, but it works better if you use it to an entire area of the skin because it's going to, you know, clear, help clear up break existing pimples, but it'll also help in preventing breakouts on neighboring skin. What's in the pad? Salicylic acid? Yeah, 2%. These are scented. This is a salicylic acid leave-on. Like, we didn't, I, I don't know why it took brands so long to come out with like moisturizers with salicylic acid. I don't know if that's difficult to formulate, but for the longest time we had these pads and that was kind of the main version of salicylic acid. That and a wash um, like like this. We've got the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser here. You know they have this in a fragrance free version now. Um, this one has masking fragrance. I really like this cleanser though and the lotion, quite good. Ooh, Outcast Protein Powder, never heard of this brand before. Batteries, this is always a good place to get batteries. I'm not in need of batteries, but what a good deal here, 20% off. I always blank on what size batteries I need too when I'm out of them, but I'm pretty sure I have a good stockpile. Ooh, check it out, $1.29 for Picadillo, get it? Picadillo, comment below and if you enjoy that. It doesn't look like, so I always make picadillo with raisins. Um, I use the soy crumbles, but traditionally it's with ground beef. What is this? Plant-based taco filling? What in the 1997 DVD CD? <laughs> what are we supposed to do with these? Do people still use these? Oh, the compressed air duster. These are high yield. How much are they asking for that? These are good for cleaning the nooks and crannies. Y'all, I've been tempted to get um, this Bissell. It's it's for cleaning up like upholstery. I've been tempted to get it. I keep seeing it. Amazon keeps suggesting it to me. I'm tempted to get it. I want to do my upholstered headboard and show you guys like what I'm able to get out. Cause I always vacuum it, but I'm curious to see if like a wet, that pet vac like if it'll suck out more stuff i think that'll be cool content for you all in a vlog i personally cannot do these earbuds like they always fall out of my ears looks like they have an array of them led light up kitty cat headphones 11.99 it's for a child's head though oh check it out this is cool water for your dog and a little food cup oh is it does it split it into Food container and water. Oh cool, you can do food on one side and water on another. That's cool. 
What do we have here uh, on the 20% off Body Butter Trio? I'm sure these are, well, of course, fragrances included, so these are all scented. Um, stay tuned for my Dollar Tree video because I am trying out a Bolero Body Butter that is blowing my mind, like Bolero Blowout in terms of mind. These are so cute, but what a disaster for the skin barrier. Um, I have some hand soaps here. Artwork, 20 bucks. Hmm, that's not a bad deal. It's not hideous. We have linens, hand towels. I just realized the card I have has a suspicious looking napkin down there. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. This is a good deal on Mrs. Myers. I don't use a hand soap, so I find them a little drying, but the countertop spray is wonderful. Mm. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Is this a little cocktail maker? What are those balls? Or are they like, they look like jawbreakers or some kind of candy. Oh, you just pop it in there and it dissolves for a drink. That's cool. Well, that's a biggie cup right there. I wish they made a mug like that. Want me something tall and strong? These are cool. Oh look, little shark ice cubes. These are nice highball glasses. Check it out. So you can make, I've seen these cotton candy makers, but I didn't realize you could put other types of candy in there to make it into cotton candy. How fun would that be for rotting your teeth? <laughs> cotton candy is one of those things that like the first bite of it's like a lot of fun, but after that you've had about enough. 35 bucks, that seems a bit pricey for this ice cream maker. Although, with the 20% off sale. Check out this thing, back stretcher, $12.97. Seems like you could just roll up a towel, but I can see it being handy for that type of thing or crunches. Oh, that's the ab mat, different from the back stretcher. I don't know, that seems kind of like a gimmick to me. Is that really like the most appropriate decor for Big Lots? A random picture of cereal and peanut butter toast? I don't get what who chose that. Update on my Ninja Blender. I'm still loving it. It's still working out really well for me. How cute is this glass with a little octopus in there? I love it. It's a nice mug. Kitchen gadgets. Soda keeper you can get on sale. See, this is the kind of stuff that people on TikTok are always like divvying stuff up, but I'm like, honestly, I mean, like honestly, the tomato and pepper sleeve, I mean, I don't know, it seems like how, uh, yeah. Got some more mugs over here. Stay rad, that's cute. This looks good. Coffee pairs nice with nicely with silence. I like that. I wonder how many ounces that holds. It doesn't look super thick, but OMG, y'all. How cute is this microwave s'more maker? Because you know when you put the marshmallow and graham cracker combo in the microwave, it always puffs up and falls over. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's for taking salad with you on the go. That's cool for keeping everything dry in there. It doesn't take up much space either. Oh, he lost an ear. Oh, there's another one back there. How cute. Well, that's not very sun protective now, is it? These Orbeez, they look like so much fun, but I hear these horror stories about like kids accidentally ingesting them and like having to go to the emergency room. Sounds like a parent's worst nightmare. They do kind of look like fun to play with. My squishy little ice cream. <gasps> so I finally got around to spraying my wet it and forget it um, on the back patio. Hopefully it works. She all said it works. It just takes time to sink in to cut down on the algae. algae. <laughs> That's cool, a little gardening center. Lots is a good place to get placemats. These are cute, the watermelon ones. I'm gonna have to have those for a little summer splash. But I'm going for more of a pink lemonade vibe. 
Oh, that's sweet. Well, hey guys, I'm back. I did not expect this vlog to turn into a full-blown Big Lots shop with me, but here we are. They had a ton of great finds in there. I realized in yesterday's vlog, I kind of left y'all hanging as far as my library adventure. Uh, I didn't share with you guys what I actually checked out. I got All Quiet on the Western Front. I've never read this before, but it's a classic. The greatest war novel of all times. Let me know if you've read it. It looks like it's gonna be good. Um, I like to keep up on my classic books that I've never read reading list that I have running in my head. Uh, and that's one that I've wanted to read for some time. And then I saw this, A Good Man by Annie Katz. Looked promising. So yeah, that's what I got at the library. Love the library. Highly suggest going to your library. It's a great way to relax, unwind, de-stress, decompress, <laughs> cool off and uh, escape, I don't know, stress. It's a great stress relief for me. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, fun skincare content. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.